Hello everybody, Rami Lee here. Once again returning to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I know, I gotta stop this. Like I, There's so many series I haven't jumped into. Mainly because Animal Crossing has been doing really well. But, I guess I got some news to deliver to everyone. Also, look at, uh, oh, I already forgot her name. I don't know, her, her look just looks cool. I know she's a bit fan servicey, but I don't know, it's something about it. It's a cool design. That That's cool, too. But, uh, I'm not really sure what I could do for Animal Crossing videos anymore. Uh, maybe when I hit Five Star Village, maybe I'll do a video on that. But, for the most part, there's nothing really I could do content-wise outside of visiting islands. Uh... Second piece of news, uh, I'll, I think I'm ready to announce something come June 1st. Uh, I hope you're all be excited for that uh, when you find out what it is. M maybe not, but I am. Uh, and thirdly, oh jeez, I, I, know, I know I had something to say, now I can't remember. Well, I guess without further ado, let's continue. I should have everything ready with like my my blades and gear but it's time to continue this story I know I'm so so rusty when it comes to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 oh god Xenoblade Chronicles speaking of Xenoblade Chronicles the remaster of do I have ancient wisdom yes I do uh, the remaster of the first one should be coming out in just a few days oh dear your own mind. Oh, what's this? Ether R and D revolution? Huh. We'll have to find out what that's about at a later date. Alright everyone, we gotta save Pyra. These uh ten talents are gonna pay dearly for for hurting her. And me by extension. Hmm. It seems awful quiet. That music. Okay, so I have a feeling this is not where we're supposed to go. Alright, back into the basement, everybody. Oh, I just realized she has an eye on the back of her head. Ooh. She's always watching. Also, her... Is that a... What's her weapon? Is that a katana? Oh, it's, it's weird. But I hope you're all enjoying your week so far. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I know. I... I, I have no excuses. All I can do is apologize and try to do better. It's not always easy, though. Aha! Let's get into our... Our first battle. Oh, yeah, that's a katana. Tantalese knights, huh? Oh, God. I am incredibly rusty. Yes, yeah, sadly, Pyra was my main... Um, my main toppler. That's not an ability... Well, he did have it naturally, but then it became part of her moveset. Well, so let me grab this stuff. I know you're just doing your job, but we gotta save our friend. I like how the katana moveset's like a bunch of quick draw slashes. I like it. Let's get him. Ooh, nice. Ah, Newt. That was her name. Hey. Hey. Knock off that defense. Yeah, get him. We are incredibly over-leveled here. 
your helmet makes for quite a snug bed, my boy. It's not my fault if you fall out during huh, I'm shocked yeah? Newt's weapon isn't the, the fist thingies. Said her and I could do a team or or a barrage together. Halt, criminal scum. Oop, I'll be quiet. Oh, okay. Zeke, Pandoria. Oh, uh, what? We came all this way to bust you out. How inconsiderate. You kept us waiting. Won't you get in trouble for helping us? Oh, I'm the prodigal son, anyhow. It can't get any worse. Where's Pyra? This way. Follow us. Well, looks like we met halfway. Oh no! Alright, everyone. The time's finally come. Let's let's get unorthodox. Although it was very very nice having Newt out. Oh, hopefully we'll see more of her later. But it's time for Zeke to shine. Let's go then. Wait, why are we pulling one at a time? Oh, okay. No need to pull one at a time. We're Mad Diesel. And now we're the prince. Well, I'm not used to the slow swinging lifestyle. Don't worry, everyone. I won't uh, involve you in too many battles. I just figured it's been a while, so we do some fighting. Yeah, our whole, our whole dynamic is off balance with the, uh, the topple, break, slam, or launch slam combo thingy. You know what I'm talking about. But now we get to be Zeke with the Pandoria. A new locale. I've gained a new memory. Oh, a new memory, you say? Well, we're just gonna slip by them, cause. Looks like we've been oh. Rumbled. Halt! <laughs> Out of our way! Yeah, get him! I know everyone's kind of talking over each other. Oh, oh jeez. I know we're kind of... Oh god. We're kind of all squished in this tiny hallway. Hey! Hey! I, I agree, Dia. You can't do that. God. Open up! Oh dear. Come on. Come on. Ah, darn it. Well, everyone, we'll worry about that later. Let's continue. Oh, hey! Well, everyone, I'll, I'll see you when we get there. Snazzy, I see. I had forgotten that some drivers value style over substance. You tell a boar egg. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We should be uh, good now. I said to clear out the guards. There was a, a staircase there. Ow, 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 ow. You alright? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Honestly, though, chum, are you ever not getting scratched up? Ever since Pyra gave me half a life force, and we swore to reach Elysium, things have been rough. But... I'm actually glad. 
They feel like a sign of our bond, I guess. Something special we share as driver and blade. Hmm. Concerning. <laughs> I still. Oh, oh, jeez. I still feel there's gonna be some sad revelation later on. And I'm gonna wanna cry. Careful, guys. Careful. Yeah, I still feel stupid that there's something I wanted to announce in this video and I couldn't remember it with the time game. I'm sure once I've done, I'll remember and I'll feel stupid. Honestly, Pandoria, I don't know how you put up with all of Shellhead's antics. Oh, Nia, you're the only one who gets it. <laughs> Poor Zeke. I always love everyone's banner and making fun of him. Ooh, hello. Oh, well, I'll take it. A secret door. Oh, dear. We still gotta descend. Well, everyone, I guess once again I'll meet you when we get there. All right, everyone, I'm back. We almost died. Jeez, I don't know how we made it through that fight. Seems we've arrived. Pyra. Strung up in some kind of restraint. Look ahead. Uh. An ether accelerator. I've seen one like it before in old Torna. It certainly seems like they want us gone for good. So, if we crank up the output and really focused it, we could probably manage one strike. If the people here really are the descendants of the Tornans, then I have a message for them that I must pass on. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Mithra. He's here. I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. However, for the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where you stand. Is that truly your desire, your majesty? I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Is that not why you disappeared from history, along with Adam the hero? <laughs> Begin. Ether Accelerator. The what now? It's a weapon from long ago, designed to use Genbu's ether energy for destruction. I never dreamed they'd fully restore it. My old man, he's gonna use it to kill Pyra. No matter how strong she is, there'd be no coming back from that. In that case, we can't let him use it. Oh, it's on now. For Pyra and Mithra, get him! Oh, I've been, I've been itching for this fight, everybody. Let's take these. Oh, oh, there is a lot of them. Oh, okay, they don't have a lot of life. Strike them down, everyone! I wish we had more AOE. I mean, I don't see has some. Oh, there's a lot of talking going on. Yeah! Strike them down. Make them pay. I 
I hope we're not just wasting time on ads right now. Hey, quit it, quit evading. Thank you. Oh. Well. That went well. Yeah, Poppy should be fine, right? But Poppy, you're so strong. Is she gonna get her upgrade here? Sure, that'll have consequences. It missed. He did it, Rex. They stopped it. Yeah. Pyra. Five hundred years. For 500 years, we Tantalese have concealed the Omega Fetter. Do you know why? Um. Our old homeland, Tornan, was destroyed in the Aegis War. Our hero, Adam, also failed to return. You must understand, old Torna as a country was united around the hero. But our ancestors less so. What mm. are you saying? That we're not Adam's bloodline? Precisely. In Torna, our family were just a cadet branch. We only gained our current position in the confusion of the war's aftermath. But then we're just a bunch of usurpers! They were desperate times. We had no choice. The nation must continue at all costs. Even if it meant claiming Adam's name. With its guiding force gone, much blood was spilled in Torna. We did what had to be done to reunite it under the new banner of Tanta. Legends of the hero who saved the world are deeply ingrained in people's hearts. And you use them for your own political agenda. Even so, all was done in the name of saving the world from burning once more. Don't you dare try and sugarcoat it. Short story is, they saw an opportunity to gain influence and they took it. Gah! That is the way of the world. Moradain could easily take a similar path. Yes, we are in no position to condemn them outright. So did this Adam guy really never return? Indeed. The records indicate he went missing immediately after sealing away the Aegis. It is likely he simply perished during the journey home. He didn't just go missing. What did you say? He just... Adam. He had foreseen everything. 
He knew what would happen to the people after the kingdom fell. But he chose not to return. Adam left us of his own will. But why? Hear me, my science. I am Adam Origo. This day I seal the Aegis, away from the world. But this seal is not for eternity. In anticipation of the day that humanity becomes worthy of the Aegis's power, I entrust her to posterity. She is our hope. When mankind has matured and learned to live better lives, she will answer your call and return to you. Trusting that day will come, I leave my final wish to you. Well, didn't know her earrings could Adam do that. Saw much confusion and hardship in the world ahead. And when I seemed unsure, he told me something. This is a trial. Is me sleeping a part of the trial? That's right. It is a trial for us humans, one we must overcome ourselves. If we cannot do that, we don't deserve to live alongside you. Live alongside. To be honest, I still don't fully understand what he meant by that. Whether he simply meant the coexistence of humans and blades, or something more. But I think he made a difficult choice. For the sake of everyone's survival. Uh oh. Your Majesty. What is this? It's Genbu. It's broken free of our control and started to dive into the clouds. What? Are you certain? <laughs> Pandy! What exactly is happening? Could it be that blast? What is he? Tantal keeps Genbu under control using the Omega Fetter. But firing the Ether Accelerator, it could have created a counterflow in Genbu's Ether conduits, causing a critical overload. So Genbu's broken. Oh no! My words can't reach him anymore. Genbu is just going to dive deeper and deeper. Then... Domo, git! That's what happens when you use antiquated parts. The cloud seam has a similar density to water. As we dive, the pressure will keep building. By 500 peds, a human would be crushed completely. And all that force will weigh down on Genbu? What's our depth now? 2200 peds, sir. We are diving at a rate of 120 peds per minute. Uh oh. Kimbu's depth limit? 25,000, give or take. How do you know that? That'll give us just over three hours. Whoa, Shell, let's get a maths. Bite me. <laughs> oh, Nia, always so catty. This ain't good. Hey, chum, there's a pressure-resistant pod in the palace's southern tower. You guys at least should get in and escape. What about you and everyone else? Don't worry about us. How can I possibly not worry about you? Isn't there any other way? Some way to save everyone? 
Only Pandoria can tell Gendru what to do. If it won't budge for her, it's no use. Apart from that, all we can do is try to evacuate as many people as we can. But with just three hours. I think you mentioned before, you control Gendru using the Omega Fetter, right? Uh, yeah, but... Where is it? Inside Gendru's head. It's straight south from the palace, through Gendru's spinal column. I will go. Hmm. You'll go. What's going on here? What are you... The Omega Fetter is originally Ophion's control core. And Ophion is my artifice. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I might be able to fix it. Pyra? Pyra being serious? They tried to kill Pyra one minute ago? That's a totally separate issue. Isn't that what you'd say, Rex? What? Oh, yeah. I guess it is. And that's why. Friend Pyra! Tora get it! Then Tora and Poppy also lend help! Yay! Tora Looks will help too! Druma? I would have it no other way. <laughs> that's settled then. Stay out of the way, old man. Got it? You would all risk your lives for this. For the sake of Tantal, though we attempted to destroy the Aegis. No, you tried to destroy the Aegis. The Aegis. Then why? You're a king, right? You ought to be able to figure it out. Rex, you are... Morag? You leave me little choice. <laughs> Morag's See, always on board. Where was the fetter again? How do we get there? Don't you listen? Tell you. I'll take you right to it. Zeke? Save it, old man. You better make a start on evacuating the people. Though with us on the case... Your efforts are probably going to be wasted. Yeah, ni nice team shot. I like it. Understood. No time for chit chat. Let's go. I yeah, know you already wasted yeah. five minutes. Now we only have two hours and fifty-five minutes left. Now the path to the Omega Fetter isn't an easy one. This city, Theos Theoswar, is positioned a long way above the Genbu Drifts. If you head out the palace and down to the left, you'll see the ruins of a place called Theospeedy... The, the, the temple. <laughs> ruins? Even though inside city? Yep, they really are ruined too. Practically rotted away. Anyway, past the temple ruins is something called the Theosuar Rear Gate. We head out through there. Then we have to follow the pillars a long way down. Ugh, sounds like a pain in the arse of a journey. Nia, you can't be swearing on my channel. But must be quick, quick. Come on, friends, to Genbu Drifts. Hey, I'm not done yet. Once we get to Genbu Drifts, we have to head across it. That gets us to a place called the Great Pillar Passage. The Omega Fetters at the end of that. Sound too long. Tora already getting tired. Just listening. Oh, Tora. <laughs> too soon for getting tired, Master Pond. This is no time for joking around, Tora. Yeah, you tell him, Rex. Punch him in the face. Oh, I'd like to do it myself. <laughs> we have to give this our all to protect Zeke's home. Of course. Well, I mean, Zeke hasn't been here, like, in a long time. But what, whatever. Right, let's all do what we can. Thanks, guys. I owe you big time. So first, we head out of here to the left. Got that? Yeah, Tor remembered just fine. The party formation has changed again. Oh, dear. Well, everyone... Looks like things are picking up. So, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Once again, this has been Robbie Lee. And if you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful evening.